So I just walked through a spider web. That's it. I, I don't have anything else. It's just, I hate it when that happens and they form webs so quickly. Like I was just walking through here to, you know, get the camera and make sure it's charged and all of the things. And like five minutes later, I come back and I, same path and I walk through a spider web. And now I'm like, A, I'm bummed because I just ruined your web. But two, this happens so frequently that I'm starting to think they're trying to catch me. And C, I'm nervous that it's on me somewhere. It's freaking me out. That's it. That's all I got. I mean, I have soap too that we're going to talk about. So I'll tell you more about the soap in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 96 of 365 days of soap. You know, year two. And today, the Soaprentice is making the Death Star. So we expected the soap is gonna be round, right? That makes sense. I think that's a pretty logical assumption because the Death Star is round, looks like a planet. You've seen it. Like you've seen the movies. That's all accurate, pretty sure. The uh, fragrance that The Soaprentice is working with is from JustScent.com, which is owned by Wholesale Supplies Plus now, and they've been serviceable this entire thing. I ha think I've said that for every video. I, maybe I should pick myself up a thesaurus and learn new words, but that's the best way I can describe them. Uh, no real problems with any of the soaps though, so I mean, that's great. So the soaping has been good, just the scents have not been as strong as I think I would like for really any of them. A couple of them have been great. Uh, this one I don't think is one of them, but you know, let's go to the video and we can talk about that while we watch The Soaprentice make the Death Star. Okay, so The Soaprentice is deciding to do the Death Star. And so she's going to do a pull through. I love that for her. You know, I actually don't love that for her because if you have been watching this channel for a while, you will have learned midnight moon. Okay. File that away. I'm going to look it up. Just sense. Cool. Anyway, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you, you already know that pull throughs are stupid for us not in general like stop freaking out every time i say pull throughs are stupid people freak out stop it point there have been times in the pull through world where i have failed 100 percent of the time in a pull through and then there was the Earth, which became Earth 2020. And the Soaprentice, it was a we. She ended up with three inches of like soap batter in her gloved hand that she had to put somewhere else because it was. That pull through was not great, is the point. 
So she's going to do another pull through for another planet shaped thing. The Death Star. She's doing the Death Star today. And that's awesome. But like, pull throughs are stupid. So why are we doing this? I, I guess because the Death Star is round. And the easiest way to make a round soap is, you know, in a column. I mean, it makes sense. The logic is there. But why are you? And she actually asked me and got out all the little pull through thingy things. Which one would be best for this? And in my head, I'm going the one that does not involve pull throughs. Because pull throughs are stupid. You know, stop it. If you're great at pull throughs, like tag me on Instagram. Because I don't really actually look at most social media these days. The best way to get in touch with me is to DM me or better call me or email me really because whatever. But if you tag me on Insta, I will look at it and that will be awesome. But like if you have done an amazing pull through that you're super big proud of, you should tag me in that. But I'm still going to believe that pull throughs are stupid because I'm bad at them. That's the only reason. Now, back to the scent. So, uh, Midnight Moon from JustScent.com, owned by Wholesale Supplies Plus, but had very fast shipping times, which is not what you ever get from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So that was a fun treat. What does this say? Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Clean, citrusy, and herbal. Okay. Bergamot with light pine. Lavender. Mossy, woody, sandalwood type. Bottom notes. Okay. No vanillin content. And also no soap notes for this particular one. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What's happening here? Is that ricing? What? It's ricing. So no soaping notes. B because ricing? That is the last thing that you want to happen when you're trying to do a freaking pull through. Okay? You want your, bot your batter nice and fluid. Absolutely delightful. None problems whatsoever. And she put in the scent... What's this one going to do? It's going to rice too. All of it is ricing. Cool. I do not love that for her, which I guess is the whole point of saying I love that for you or for me or for whatever. But shit, this sucks. We might have another Earth 2020 bar on our hands at the end of the Death Star. So let's go... Uh, I guess check out this pour. Mmm. Okay, so yeah, pouring in a I mean, I like the the pull through thing that she selected for the Death Star. But then I think it looks like she's changing up her design, maybe on the fly. It almost looks like she was planning on doing like a column pour within the column. Or a full funnel. You know what I mean. But because it started ricing, she decided that this was the better idea. Uh, you know, if a scent does not have soaping notes, you can do one of two things. You can be the intrepid adventurer and, you know, get it anyway. Or you can literally just not and find a scent that has soaping notes. Cause look at that, look at that racing. That is not a good consistency for a pull through. But I love that the soap Prentice saw that and realized that she did not want Earth 2020 in her hands. She just wanted it on the counter and that's fine. You see that? 
is a mess. It's, it's all good. And then look, there's extra of it to go into the, the, the actual tray molds, which is also a smart thing to have around for all of the extra soaps. Have we done it? I don't think we've done it yet, but we are going to do it soon. I found these new molds that I actually really love and makes it wildly easier to make like guest soaps and stuff. And we're going to talk about it, but you could have also done that, like poured it into the little guest soap molds instead of doing this for your extra batter. But I want you to also pay attention in this to the white and the black and the gray. Because this scent did real weird things, my friends. This was... And I can say that right now because I've seen the final bar. And while the soap, the, the soap and the kidlets were like making me smell things, I opened my eyes up to this one. And uh, honey child, after uh, it cures for about, you know, three days... Oh my God, this is no longer white and gray and black, but let's go to the cut and maybe you can see, you know, all of the problems that existed because of this fragrance, really. Okay, and on to the cut. Now this did get sea popped and gelled and frozen and look at the purple there. So the bar that the soap and clay kidlets like put in my face to smell, that was a very weird thing, by the way. Like keeping your eyes closed to smell things just so you have a scent recognition but without the design. Because I wanted to do whatever. Like you've been watching the Star Wars. You get it. Anyway, I opened my eyes for this one because it was a very interesting smell. Like it was inter, it wasn't bad, but I definitely wouldn't call it citrusy or herbal. I could go with mossy though, mossy and sandalwoody. Anyway, I opened up my eyes for this one because I actually do really love sandalwood, and so I probably opened my eyes because like, oh, what's that? And all of these bars were purple. What color is a Death Star? Also, this video is so damn short that I don't even get to talk about the Death Star. But you could maybe like go pause and then play and pause and play and pause and play and pause. Because that's the only way you actually get through the crawl screen that I've been doing. Kind of intentionally because I thought it would be annoying and whenever things are annoying, I equate that with funny. Um, I, I talk about it there. That like, how messed up is it? That it's a, it's a thing the size of a moon, right? Maybe Tatooine's moon that I'm convinced no longer exists. We've talked about this. And nobody knew this construction was occurring. Like nobody saw that. We don't have telescopes a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Anyway, Death Star is not purple. And this entire line discolored to a beautiful plum purple with whites and some grays and whatever. Like the swirls are still there, but it went purple. I'm not happy with just scents just across the board. Like no hate if you love them and they're the, the coolest thing ever. But I can give you at least a dozen other companies that will do it better. And that is a uh, day 96, the Death Star. So yeah, you can't really tell in the final shot of the soap, but at this point, they are all purple. Like variations, there's some grays and some blacks and you know, whatever in them all, but also purple, which is wild and cuckoo bananas and still perfectly awesome because it's cool. And yeah, that's a, that's the Death Star. And of course, again, had to be round, had to be all the things. And it looks like the Death Star. I think she did a great job. She always does. 
And uh, if you're interested in purchasing the Death Star or any of the other Star Wars inspired soaps, you know the deal. You can do so on the website at soapandclay.com when the series is wrapped and we're getting close. We're almost there. So soon. Yes. If you are interested in following me on social media, I'm there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, handle Soap and Clay. I don't even use soap on Facebook. I haven't said that once this year. That's wild. But yeah, do that thing. That would be cool. For my sudsers that have subscribed and are a part of this daily soapy journey, thank you. You guys are epic for sure. And I uh, definitely need you more today than normal because I walked through a spider web and talking to you through the box is weirdly comforting and keeping my mind off of whether or not the little thing I felt on my neck just barely was uh, just a hair moving or, you know, a spider. So thanks for being here is the point. I'm out of here for today. I'm going to go find that spider. But I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.